Libra, welcome back to the channel. We are gathered here today for your spiritual tarot messages, messages today. Okay. Let's see what the energies are for you. Like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel so that we can bring more air signs and more Libras into the reading today. We're using the Everyday Witch Tarot to see what your messages are, what the universe wants to say to you. What's the therapeutic uh, session? What's the therapeutic advice? Okay. Libra, what's going on? <laughs> um, unable to make a decision right now. You're gambling. Uh, what else is there? Um, having too many options makes you stagnant here. There's a certain phrase that um, is not coming to mind. I would like it to come to mind, but it's avoiding me right now. Ooh, we have the popo. They see me rolling. They hating. The fool card. An adventure here. You could be dealing with an Aries. Someone trying to get you to try something new, possibly. And you're juggling, not able to make a decision. We would call that analysis paralysis here. That is a turnoff to someone that uh, likes to take action. We have the Queen of Cups and we have the Eight of Wands. Sex passions coming towards you. Why does she look pregnant? Mm. Could be needing to make a decision in regards to whether to keep a child or not, or whether to start a family or not, or whether to invest in a situation or not. This could be fast travel coming towards you. But for me, you know, the Eight of Wands not only symbolizes travel, but it symbolizes sex. A lot of opportunities coming towards you here. Queen of Cups will be a therapist, a feminine figure here. Very nurturing. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. Options. What do you bring to the table? This could also be a marriage as well. Someone is very lucky here. They're being provided with um, the ability to partake. Being put on the pedestal here. This would be like someone marrying someone that's, um, I wouldn't necessarily say out of their league, but someone that is able to provide them but whatever their hearts desire. I keep pulling two cards by accident. We have the Emperor. And then we have the Five of Swords. So we not only have Aries showing up here in the Fool card, we have Aries showing up in the Divine Masculine, the Emperor. Could be dealing with a strong fire sign, possibly an Aries somewhere in their birth chart, Sun, Moon, Rising. Mm -hmm. A lot of sex here. Five of Swords, that's some, some sort of a verbal disagreement or some sort of a confusion blown right off the top of the deck coming right on top of the queen of cups we have the eight of cups walking away from a situation here possibly uh, a, yeah some sort of a turnoff or an there was a pregnancy an unattended pregnancy they're not they did not attend to uh get pregnant here eight of cups eight of wands yeah and now they're stuck in and they're either arguing about it or they're confused about it or they can't this could also possibly go against someone's religion here so this is a uh, yeah very interesting situation here yeah they're they're bothered by a four of cups this may even turn them off from uh the opposite sex opposite sex but someone's refusing emotional advances here not wanting to partake in love this is uh emotional disappointment here someone not being accountable here yeah someone's leaving a woman behind or saying i don't want a child now, this could be the female saying, I don't want a child here. Mm -hmm. Wheel of Fortune. This is a good moment, uh, something good turning bad, right? It's, it's good. Sex is good, right? Until it turns bad, right? Until something unexpected happens, right? Until it becomes toxic and karmic, right? Someone stealing your power away from you, whether it's child support or ruining your bodies at the end of the day for women. Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. Yep, someone coming in and out. Now, this could be a woman again. You've been taking advantage of your sexuality as long as you could take advantage of your sexuality until you got pregnant, until that birth control didn't work, until that condom broke. Now, the Divine Masculine here, the Nine of Wands comes out on top of the Emperor. Could be F-boy energy here some sort of a leader or some sort of a boss here taking advantage of a situation yeah they're probably used to doing this sort of thing as well i don't like to call names but we have certain rappers out there named future that will partake in this sort of thing partaking in sex and then making out like a bandit in the night right 
on one hand he'll talk about how he don't fall in love with these hoes and then next thing you know he'll make a song called incredible <laughs> get like come on man make it make a decision what are you gonna do stop confusing the people you have all these little girls out here thinking that they can be Tatiana's Megan Thee Stallion again you you know what you're doing as well you got all these little girls out here thinking that they could be Tatiana's and that they can blame men for their issues we have the King of Cups showing up. Yeah, all right. I would say Divine Counterparts, but this looks like a karmic situation here. So, uh, karmic flame. Someone needs to learn a lesson here in this situation. Mm -hmm. Now, someone could be trying to hold a family together. Uh, could be dealing with very uh, empathic, very loving, and very intuitive individual. Like, one thing is... Uh, we could scrub all that makeup and all that fancy glitter and shit. Like your family knows what you look like because they saw you in middle school and high school before you got extensions and all that. Now you wanted to uh, maintain some sort of a front, some sort of a uh, celebrity status, emperor or empress energy. Now you have all this on your face and you think people are just going to believe whatever you have to say. Better think again. Someone needs to go visit a therapist or a psychologist here. Or maybe this could be some sort of a accountability group. Uh, some sort of a vacation here. Uh, we send celebrities to these types of things. <laughs> I forgot what you would call them. Some sort of a celebrity self-help program, right? Where they get to go and relax and have mimosas. Talking about I have issues. Stop putting your burdens on other people. Right? But uh, you take the good with the bad though, right? You take the celebrity and the stardom. You cast a big bright, uh, uh, a big, bright stardom. You're the center of attention. You know how big your you know how big a shadow gets. A shadow extends because the amount of light that you have on you here. You can't hide your shadow. Out of darkness comes the light. All right. Like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel, Libra. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.